Hello again and welcome to TPM Software Technology Property Management. Um, on the last tutorial we looked at um, the tenant and the tenant's form. Now we're going to um, realise a matter that happens in every agency and in fact to landlords as well. When the tenant comes into either the agency or gives the landlord money to pay off his rent. So we'll take Joe as an example again. So we know Joe's rent um, was 800 so we get into the tenant cash book which is highlighted here. Click on tenant cash book and up pops our uh, TPM cash book. It's got the receipt date and the cash book number. And now that cash book number is unique to um, this um, receipt. So in TPM all you need to do is type in the first part of the address, so it was 16, uh, so we type in 16 and it finds it right away, 16 Hot Kill Place. <coughs> if it was another 16 you'd simply put space and then H and it would find Hot Kill Place. If you press return it puts in all the details regarding um, 16 Hot Kill Place. Um, it's Joe Brown. Landlord Smith, the next rent due is the 1st of the 12th, management rate, etc, etc. Now, because this is just a tutorial, we're just going to um, use the 1st of the 11th as an example. So, if we press return again, and is it cash, check, or credit card, or purchase order? So, we'll just say in this case, it's a... Um, check. So the total receipt and the check number. So the check number we'll just say it's 001234. The actual total receipt we'll say is £400 in this case it's a part payment by Mr Joe Brown. So £400 and pay to invoice number and if you look there it's PC1. So we can just say simply type or look it up, but we can simply type in PC1 and it goes to that um, particular invoice. Press return again and we then um, post the receipt. So post the receipt, click on post receipt. Tenants receipt posted, say OK to that. We now see we've got a receipt at the bottom there. Yep, there's no Sage reference because we didn't receive it in Sage. And the description is cash book transaction for PC1. There's the concatenated information there. And we give the, you could either email the tenant the receipt or print the receipt for the tenant. So we preview that. There we go, cash book 001. 6th of 11, 2010, received with thanks from Joe Brown the following amount of money, £400. This was paid towards the property address, 16 Oak Hill Place. The amount was paid by cheque on the 6th of November. Cheque number, tenant ID, landlord name, Smith. Now we print a copy for ourselves and the same information, but only it's for us which period and it would be for November in this case and this is our copy. Now the landlord then would get a payment from the tenant's receipt and everything as before the receipt date, cash book number, who you received the money from, the amount of money received, the management rate, the management fee deducted £40 so it's half the rate obviously because we only received half the money, the VAT £6 gross, pay the landlord £354. Landlord name Smith. This was paid for this property. Amount was paid by cheque. Cheque number. Now the bank details are the bank details of um, the landlord. Okay, and you can write in the, the actual cheque amount paid if you feel like doing so. And that's it. That's the, the cash book. We'll just come out and exit the cash book a minute. And what we'll do is we'll go into 
the cash book again. We'll make another part payment and it's cash book number two now. Property address, as I said, if you type in the first part, 16, Hawk Hill Place, and its tenant's name is Joe Brown. Um, what we're going to do is actually say um, it wasn't Joe Brown, it was Mrs. Brown. Sorry, Mrs. We came in with the other part of the receipt. Is it check or cash? We'll say this time it was cash. No check number. Total receipt four hundred pounds. To pay invoice number PC one as we know. Return. Post the receipt. Tenants receipt posted. Print the receipt. Now we know that that's been updated. Uh, print the receipt. This is Brown, full amount of money. Again, tenant name, no problem. So that goes to Mrs. Brown. And preview this. Which period? This is for the, the landlord, obviously, in November. There's a receipt from Mrs. Brown falling on the date, and the CR number is changed now to number two. And all the rest of the information is as we described earlier on. So, quite easily. That's how we receive and, more importantly, give the um, tenant a receipt and pay the landlord. Very easy to do. So we'll close that, exit cash book, and that's the tenant's cash book for you. So, in effect, the um, November payment was paid by Mrs Brown and Joe Brown and the landlord received his payment um, which was in two parts. Close tenants takes us back to the main dashboard. If we look at the account now we can see that um, the £400 was paid in and the two um, sub payments are in um, in the cash book. So exit cash book, close tenants we're back to the dashboard. In Joe Brown's um, main record now, if we go into um, property accounts and for PC1, we can see the two payments that have been put in. There we go, that's the two payments. They weren't received in size, they were received in TPM. So TPM can basically um, do its accounts as a standalone system without Sage and cash book transaction. Exit that, close tenants and back to the main dashboard.